Good morning, y'all. It's live from last week, episode 15. Let's go. Reporting live from Scarborough, welcoming my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of Live From Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. A couple days ago, I saw an ad for snowboarding boots for 50 bucks, but the seller said that if I picked them up in Guelph, I could get them for 25 bucks. So here I go for my furthest Facebook marketplace pickup now. <music> Boots, baby. But before I go home, and since it's long distance driving, my butt is kind of getting sore. So I'm gonna take a little break and do one quick surprise delivery. I'm finally back home after over five hours out on the road today so that I could do some birthday greetings. I want to wish a happy birthday to one of my Ryerson classmates and she's always a pleasure to be with as well as joke around with whenever we have our university reunions. And I know because of the pandemic we haven't had a reunion in a while but if one is organized you can count on her to be there. So once again hope you're staying healthy out there and happy birthday Anne. And I have another birthday greeting for one of my cousins in Vegas. Happy birthday, Jan! I'm always appreciative that you're cool to meet up whenever I'm down visiting Las Vegas. And especially those fun times visiting the buffet at Red Rock. I think honestly, that's one of my favorite buffets to go to in the world. I hope you're staying safe and healthy down there, Jen, and I can't wait till this pandemic is over so I can come visit you guys and we can experience some more buffets. Check this out. I'm at the 401 Islington area of Toronto, AKA Rexdale area. If you guess that I'm here because of a Facebook marketplace deal, you are correct. And I'm only getting it because it's only five bucks. Gonna get me a new iPhone SE phone case. And these cases are rare nowadays since they discontinued them. But let's see how it goes. Check it out. New iPhone case from my iPhone SE. So today is the 2021 season opener for the Toronto Blue Jays. They're starting their season in New York at Yankee Stadium. And I've been waiting all winter for this exciting season to start. So let's see how my team did today. Okay, Blue Jays. So I'm happy for them to get the win over their AL East rivals. But before I continue to tell you how the first day of April went for me, I have a birthday greeting for Ryan. Happy birthday, Ryan. I met this amazing guy at the Toronto Waterfront Marathon Gala a couple years back. And it's great to see the things that he posts as well as the charity work of the organization that he's a part of. As well as catching pictures with me in costume in the races that we've had in the past. I hope everything is well with you, Ryan, and I hope that you have a great birthday. Did I also forget to mention that today is April 1st, AKA April Fool's Day. A day that's celebrated by people pulling pranks on each other in a fun, wholesome type of way. So I actually prepared an April Fool's prank a couple weeks ago for today. I saw an article of a bowl house that was being sold at the Scarborough Bluffs, not too far from here. I took some pictures off a website 
and yesterday also took some selfies of myself at the bluffs. I also took the time last night, staying up until 4 a.m. to learn some Photoshop, which reminded me of when I was in high school in Mr. Merlano's class. And I made a Facebook post saying how I actually went out and bought this place, inviting anybody to come and join me at the boathouse this summer when this pandemic is over. So here's the final product. So yeah, I just want to thank everybody for being a good sport, who appreciated the post, as well as took time out of their day to react and comment on it. And I look forward to next April to see what creative things I can come up with for next April Fool's Day. Today is the day after April Fool's Day, meaning no April Fool's pranks for another year. But what I do have for you is a birthday greeting to Amy. Happy birthday, Amy! I remember being tight with you back at St. Stephen's and seeing you at gym class being an all-around athlete as well as an amazing person inside and out. I hope you're keeping up with your athletics, Amy, that you're staying safe and healthy at this time and you have a great birthday. And also, today is an important day in the Catholic calendar. It's Good Friday today. Some Catholics observe this day by praying, practicing abstinence, fasting, or doing the Stations of the Cross. For me, I do the yearly practice on Good Friday for fasting for 24 hours between midnight on Thursday night and midnight on Friday night. I know it's random, but what I usually break my fast with every year is by eating some pizza. So before I go in for my first of my four night shifts tonight, let's go make some pizza. Earlier today, the province of Ontario has enacted a province-wide emergency break. This has been put in place because of the sudden surge of COVID cases as well as hospitalizations in the province of Ontario, which is similar to the lockdowns and the stay-at-home orders that we had earlier in the year. So when I was out earlier to buy some lasagna and some toilet paper, as you can tell by the video, there are long lines outside of the grocery store, mainly because there's a cap on how many people can shop in the store at one time. But on to some better news, today is actually a unique day on the calendar. I want to wish everybody at home a happy 4, 3, 2, 1 day. As well as some birthday greetings. Happy birthday Brandon, aka Noof. When I was growing up, this guy was probably the most funniest person I've ever met. With him always cracking jokes and making us laugh all the time. And I'm also remembering the times that we would play pick up ice hockey in the pond behind Wade Square. Hope you're doing well, Brandon, and I hope you're staying safe and healthy at this time, and happy birthday. Also got a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends, Denter, happy birthday. With his length, defense, hitting abilities, and ability to hit spots, he's just an all-around amazing athlete. I can't wait for the summer to start to play with you and against you, but for now, you have a happy birthday, Dentor. Today is Easter Sunday. He is risen. Happy Easter to everyone. I hope today for you guys is full of chocolates and Easter egg hunts. Also have a birthday greeting today for Alex. Happy birthday, Alex. This guy is a hardworking beach volleyball player with him mentoring and developing other beach volleyball players on their skills. With his sky ball, his quickness and his agility on the court is something to aspire to. Anyways, Alex, I hope you have a great birthday and I can't wait to play with you and against you on the beach this summer. But anyways, before I go in for my third of my four night shifts tonight, I just want to let you guys know that it's time for the lesson of the week.
hope you guys enjoyed that segment and I hope that you learned something today. Ooh, who's this with a new car? Can't even see. Oh, I thought there was somebody in there. Hi, Faye. Ooh. Wow. This is so cool. Yeah. Happy Easter. Oh, allergies to nuts, right? Nope. Do you like dark chocolate? Cool. <laughs> Trick or treat. Oh my oh, gosh. The eggs. I know, you found the eggs. Got some macaroni salad. Sabao for the bat joy. Mom's lasagna, some beef caldereta, and some pancit and valenciana. This is an amazing Easter delivery. Thanks, Faye. Thanks, 52. Just waking up before I go in for my fourth of my four night shifts tonight, when I heard a knock at the door. So let's go check out what it is. Flowers from a secret admirer. Wow, I got Easter flowers for Easter Monday and they smell fresh. Achoo! Gonna place you guys here so that you guys can get some nice, well appreciated sun. So now that the flowers have found a nice home, we're gonna wrap up this week's episode. So be sure to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And again, I want to thank you guys for watching, stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.